For people who have seen the colossal Antonov AN-225 Maria in person, they know that they have been lucky to see an incredibly rare aircraft. As well as being known for the majesty of its sheer size, the AN-225 draws significant attention whenever it goes due to there being only one production example in the world. While Antonov did start constructing a second example, this particular plane remains unfinished. In this video, we will take a look at why this is the case and find out what has happened to the world's largest plane. The Antonov AN-225 Maria is a strategic airlift cargo aircraft which was designed by the Antonov Design Bureau in the Ukrainian SSR with the Soviet Union during the 1980s. AN-225, better known as the Maria, which is the Ukrainian for dream, creates a fuss wherever it goes. It was first produced back in 1985 and its first flight took place in December 1988. It was originally built as an enlargement of the Antonov AN-124 to transport the Energia carrier rocket and Buran-class orbiters. As the USSR collapsed in 1991 and the post-Soviet aerospace industry struggled for survival, various exotic uses for AN-225 were proposed. One idea involved converting Maria into a triple-decker passenger jet, complete with private bedrooms, shopping malls, and a casino. Other space projects in Russia, Ukraine, and the UK eyed Maria and its planned follow-up, the AN-325, as a flying launch pad for a new generation of space planes. One idea envisioned a monstrous dual fuselage, 18-engine variant of an AN-225, but the concept never left the drawing board. Three years after its first flight, the Maria made its inaugural visit to the US on a mission to pick up humanitarian aid for Chernobyl disaster victims. Unfortunately, the flight was plagued by potentially fatal problems and was quickly grounded. It was soon partially cannibalized for parts. But that was not the end of the Soviets' dream. The Antonov Design Bureau revived the AN-225 at the turn of the century, refashioning it into a commercial carrier of oversized cargo. The company also advertised plans to complete the second AN-225, whose skeleton had been gathering dust for three decades in an assembly shop near Kiev. But although 70% completed, the cost of completion would have been at least $300 million, so it never happened. By 2009, construction was abandoned. Antonov CEO declared last year that getting the unfinished aircraft airborne is now economically unviable. But what an amazing aircraft the AN-225 is. Measuring 84 meters long with an 88 meter wingspan, it weighs 175 tons without cargo or fuel, which makes it the longest bodied, longest winged, and heaviest operational plane in the world. When this aircraft debuted in 1988, it was around 50% bigger than any airline that had ever been seen before. It is powered by six enormous Ivchenko Progress D18T turbofan engines, each capable of pumping out over 23,000 kilograms of thrust. These engines were selected for their high takeoff thrust and their low specific fuel consumption of great reliability. Also a big advantage is they are easy to maintain and have low level noise and contaminant emissions. The landing gear consists of no less than 32 wheels, the only one of its kind. This enables the aircraft to be able to turn within a 60 meter wide runway. The AN-225 has fuselage barrel extensions added fore and aft of the wings. The wings also received root extensions to increase span and are anhedral. With a wingspan of 88 meters, it is noticeably wider than that of a Boeing 737 MAX, which has a wingspan of 36 meters. The cockpit is located above the main cargo bay and the flight control surfaces are controlled via fly-by-wire and triple redundant hydraulics. The nose gear is designed to kneel so cargo can be more easily loaded and unloaded unlike its predecessor, the AN-124. The design was also altered on the tail, giving the AN-225 a twin tail with an oversized swept-back horizon stabilizer. This was essential to enable the plane to carry large, heavy external loads that would disturb the airflow around a conventional tail. The Maria is capable of carrying ultra-heavy and oversized freight up to 250,000 kilograms internally or 200,000 kilograms on the upper fuselage, with cargo on the upper fuselage up to 70 meters long. 
The maximum takeoff weight is 640,000 kilograms with a fuel capacity of 300,000 kilograms and a cargo hold volume of 1,300 square meters. Its length is 43.35 meters by 6.4 meters and width by 4.4 meters tall with enough space to hold 50 cars and includes an onboard crane that can lift 30,000 kilograms at any one time. With the capacity for six crew members, the aircraft can do a maximum speed of 850 km per hour with crew speed of 800 km per hour. When not fully loaded, the Maria has a reported range of nearly 10,000 miles, the equivalent of the distance between New York and Sydney, Australia. When weighed down, however, that comes down to just under 300 miles, but still enough to fly across the continent of Europe. The AN-225 Maria has set over 200 world records since then with its ability to carry such massive loads. In 2009, it set a world record for airlifting a single payload of 170,188 kilograms from Frankfurt Hahn Airport. The load consisted of a power plant generator. The aircraft also holds a record for being the only plane to have a maximum takeoff weight of over 600 tons and the plane with the widest wingspan. In June 2010, the AN-225 carried the world's longest piece of air cargo, which consisted of two 42.1-meter test wind turbine blades, traveling from Tianjin, China to Skridstrup, Denmark. Anyone waiting to hire the aircraft would need $30,000, and that's just for one hour. The first commercial flight of the AN-225 departed from Stuttgart, Germany in January 2002 and flew to Thumrait, Oman with 216,000 prepared meals for American military personnel based in the region. The food alone weighed 187.5 tons. The aircraft has become an integral part of international relief organizations due to the amount of emergency supplies it is able to carry, including military tanks, trains, and smaller aircraft on its back. On April 13, 2020, the old Soviet aircraft delivered 100 tons of medical supplies to Warsaw, Poland, becoming the largest air cargo transport by volume in history, according to the American Journal of Transportation. The active AN-225 recently returned to service after a 10-month hiatus. It flew three helicopters from Afghanistan to RAF Breeze Norton before returning to its base in Kiev. The six-engine behemoth's departure was so powerful that it partially destroyed the RAF base's fence. What do you think of the AN-225 Maria? Let us know in the comments and please like this video if you've enjoyed it.